Hi, I'm Simone Gallimore, my person. Hi, my name is Amelia Rishma Chandrida. Hello everyone, my name is Elizabeth Prudhan Balbikra. Hi, my name is Kalis Bridget Lawson. Hi everyone, my name is Amelia Chandrika, and today I am going to say it how has early childhood in Trinidad and Tobago evolved over the last 10 years to facilitate the needs of nursery age students in the 21st century. In Trinidad and Tobago, the Ministry of Education 2013 specified an early childhood care and education center provides to all facilities providing learning support, care, and development appropriate materials to children from 3 to 5 years old. The standards for regulating early childhood services was established in November 2005. However, the minimum standards followed into eight critical contents. Registering and authorizing of all ECCE centers in Trinidad and Tobago, recruitment, importance of early childhood preparation, quality standards for children from birth to three years old, quality models for early childhood environment for children among three to five years of age, documenting, well-being and security, and lastly, the corporal settings. A study has showed that early childhood care and education centers are based and constructed on dynamic learning program technique as educators concerns at four governmental ECCE centers in the St. George East Educational District. Therefore, this training examines teachers' apprehensions about early childhood care and education center as it is based by an active learning syllabus method at the four government early childhood located in the St. George East Educational District in Trinidad and Tobago. Active learning syllabus method was announced as a significant part of the educational reorganization to improve the importance of all educational programs accessible to three to four year old children. Theoretical content of the concerns based adoption model CBAM was used to examine tutors' apprehensions with the execution. The discoveries discovered that tutors had strong objectives based with the informational, personal, organization, and teamwork stages. Nevertheless, less attention was conveyed by the awareness, significance, and transferring phases. Evolving concerns were linked to unproductive training and understanding, time, insufficient staff, and lastly, the support of support from the group officer. Throughout the period April 9 to 11, 2001, 19 individuals on behalf of the early childhood shareholders participated in the exercise to debate on the status of early childhood services in Trinidad and Tobago. In addition to simplify classifications and categorize resources for intense care and support in early childhood services throughout Trinidad and Tobago. In conclusion, early childhood care and education played an important role in a child's life as this provides a solid foundation. Young children are capable of understanding and also actively structure knowledge. My name is Elizabeth Prudhomme Balbikram and I am giving a summary of the history of the origin of early childhood education in Trinidad and Tobago. In Trinidad and Tobago, our first nursery school was established in 1934 after many years of custodial care for young children, according to Davies R, April 1997. During the time of the post-war period, at the beginning of the 20th century, there were many changes taking place worldwide. In the 1950s, a growing need for childcare went into rapid demand. The industrialization that was taking place created many job opportunities for both men and women, and this led to the downfall of the supportive unit within the home of family members who assisted in taking care of young children. Also in the 1950s, Two independently funded organizations, the United Nations Children's Fund, UNICEF, and the Bernard Von Le Foundation, was one of the first international bodies to assist Trinidad and Tobago financially with the development of their childcare and education services. The 1970s was the start of our very first government preschool project, assisted by the La Pastora Community Center, which led to the establishment of 15 more centers by 1993. On the 8th of September, 1973 formed out of the challenging period of the Black Power Revolution from the 1970s was the birth of our first service volunteered for all civil preschool. 
By 1974, our government established a preschool unit in the Ministry of Education, but it wasn't until the 1980s that Trinidad and Tobago saw a real turning point in the early childhood care and education system. According to the Ministry of Education, to date there are 138 government-funded early childhood care and education centers. My name is Christina Staple and I'm going to demonstrate how Jerome Berner theory of development and Yuri von Berner's ecological system theory has influenced change in teaching methods previously used in the early childhood setting. Jerome Berner theory of development was very important in the early childhood education. According to McLeod 2019, Jerome Berner came with the idea of a constructivist approach. Constructivist approach is an idea of discovery learning where students will develop their own knowledge by themselves. Berner 1961 claimed the coding method is the best way for students to explore things around them than to be instructed by a teacher. He states the effect of spiral curricula will help students to explore their learning process. As an instructor, they should provide students with the knowledge they need and create lessons that will have the students interested in exploring. Berner came up with the three modes of representation. They are inactive, where children 0 to 1 years old think based on physical actions. Iconic, where children 1 to 6 years old store information as scenery images. And symbolic, where children from 7 years onward use language in form of a code or symbol to store information. On the other hand, according to First Discoveries ND, Yuri von Fenbrenner did his research and discovered that social influence and the environment will affect a child development. So he created four ecological systems, the microsystem, which relates to human relationship. For instance, a child parent, sibling, and school environment, the meso system. This system is connected with the micro system, where as a relationship with a child's parents and their school teacher is developed to impact the child. The exo system, Children can still be affected by this system, even though it does not have a direct connection with them. For instance, a parent can experience stress because of working hours have been decreased. And the micro system, where children's cultural and social beliefs make a difference in a child's development. Bronfen Berner's bioecological approach assists educators understand the true balance of forces that are likely to play a role in the growth of every young child. Hello, my name is Kalis Bridget Lawson. I'll be giving you four benefits to be driven by parents, the community, and stakeholders in having an early childhood center slash school in the community. Number one, when a child is developed within their smaller communities, environments, they begin to understand the wider society as a whole. Therefore, they will learn how to interact. So going into a wider society, they will be able to socialize with peers with displaying social grace and communication skill. Two, Having a local community involved in the early childhood becomes supportive, positive, and uplifting foundation of a child's life. Therefore, the community early childhood facility is like the seed that is planted in the ground. It allows the child to germinate in a healthy atmosphere. Thus, they would not be shy or intimidated. Let's move on to number three. It helps them learn how to tackle challenges, build knowledge, and strive. Additionally, the community, parents, and stakeholders are the first step that a child will look up to. Therefore, it caters for the solid foundation that must be built for the child to become a worthwhile and productive citizen in the community. Four, final one. It helps to build their self-esteem, which is a very important one, and help prepare them for a success and in invigorating path ahead. Therefore, having an early childhood institution within the community is so important because it is where the child begins to know his or herself, 
Thus, it is the activities at this stage that the child becomes aware of his or herself. In addition, formulating good, good self-esteem as an early childhood process continue, the child will play that <laughs> talk and learn a lot, becoming enthused about the wonders of life. In conclusion, according to the popular proverbs, it takes a village to raise a child. This produced a clear message that that the community play a central role in the growth and development of its young, while parents and stakeholders join to help. Thank you. The other country. I have selected thus far promoting investing in early childhood care and education is Barbados. The four critical areas of investment and promotion in ECE are as follows infrastructure, staff training, curriculum, and policies. Barbados is an emergent nation that has formed universal access to education, a reality at both primary and secondary level. Their literacy rate is approximately 98% and their education system is free to all school age children from 5 to 16 years old and is facilitated by the Ministry of Education. Barbados government exhibited its responsibility to promoting education by putting aside millions of dollars yearly towards education. The education system of Barbados is three-tiered with some overlapping at each stage. There is also an inclusive education system which caters to children with disabilities. Infrastructure According to the Ministry of, Bar of Education, there are currently 68 government primary schools in Barbados, 4 special schools and 12 nursery schools. Children in nursery schools start from 3 and a half years. Most government primary schools are core educational. There are also several private schools, 16 at the nursery level and 27 primaries, 5 for special needs children. A fee is required at the private school. On the report of the Barbados Advocate News 2017, they point out that the Maria Holder Memorial Trust has partnered with the Ministry of Education by funding the construction of several state-of-the-heart nursery schools as part of their commitment to producing quality facilities for early childhood education throughout the island. Staff training. The effective staff training in ECE in Barbados government established in 1995 the White Paper on Education Reform, which highlighted teacher empowerment as a means for improving all students' overall education experiences. There, these qualifications are qualification for daycare worker, nursery school training, teachers, parental involvement training. Curriculum. The Barbados Ministry of Education views that each child has the right to fair and quality education because every child matters. With this belief, they develop a curriculum which is child-centered, is undergirded by the common educational opportunities for all students, facilities transferred to successive levels of education, encourages optimum use of variety of educational resources, recognizes and builds on early experiences gained in the home settings, engage parents as partners in the total development of all students. Policies. Their policies equip students with the capacity to recognize and realize their full potential for the development by establishing a sound basic education at the pre-primary, primary and secondary levels to take special needs of each child into account, thus ensuring equity in the delivering of education. The 80% to 100% increase access to early childhood education, creating and promoting partnership between the school, the home, and the community. To be concluded, the Barbados government stands firm to their education philosophy by donating to each holistic de student development that will help develop each child to their full potential. Through promotion and investment in the early childhood education system, each child will be nurtured into responsible citizens conscious of their responsibilities to self, family, society, and the country.